Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today guys, we are back on the NBA 2K19. Now real quick, I am just going to be explaining to you guys how you can adjust rotation minutes in your My Career games. It'll be something very that's very helpful when you're able to do that, because then you can pick, figure out like who you want to play with on your team, you can figure out how many minutes they get, you can figure out who doesn't get minutes, who gets the minutes. You have pretty much complete control over the rotation. Good way to get it, it's pretty much just playing your My Career games, I'm going to tell you that straight up. It'll definitely be helpful. What you're going to want to do in the way you're going to know that your messages, now obviously you have all the other messages from everybody else, it's going to be from your assistant coach, they're going to be eventually saying you're your six man, and then um, that they're counting on you, and then eventually you'll get another text message that's saying um, how much they appreciate you, and that they've decided to let you um, input the rotations when you reach a franchise player status. Now, I don't know um, when that is, if there's like a specific threshold, but at least for fan-wise, for me, I'm sitting at a little bit under a million and a half. Um, I don't know if it's based off of fans. I can't. It might just be based off of points. I don't really know when it is based off of or what it is based off of. So if anybody knows that, you can tell me. But I'm assuming it may be based off fans. But it's probably also based off, you know, your credibility in the league, your points per game, your minutes, your steals, everything else. You're going to want to go to navigation and you're going to want to go to your NBA team. And if you can either click on my minutes, which will be bring up that otherwise roster, it brings up the actual roster. Um, this is just a way to view stats and things like that. But if you go to my NBA team and you click on my minutes, as you can see here, you got the Pelicans and you got all the guys on the team right here. Now what you can do, as you can see, you can either hit rebuild rotation, you can completely, like, that's just, just completely starting. But as you can see, you can swap these players in, you can swap the sixth man in with whoever you would like. But I'm in this case, I'm still going to have Julius Randles. But the best thing to do, I would suggest, if you yourself, if you want to maximize your player build, take everybody else, your point guard, take everybody on the bench that's a point guard and lower their... Um, Lower their minutes. I don't like how they don't show like the position on here. You know who plays in your position. So in my case, um, I play small forward. So you're gonna want to take all the small forwards and possibly power forwards. You're gonna want to or shooting guards or whatever. Look yourself at 38, and I'm pretty. Everybody else you can max out as high as you want. But you can go ahead and fluctuate these. Like say you want to give Mecca Oka for some more playing time. You like playing say with. Alfred Payton, more than you like playing with Julius Randle, you can put his minutes up and then say you want it maybe. You can pretty much, you can do it however you want. You can pretty much take people off of the team, not take people off, take minutes away from people if you would like to get yourself more playing time or other players more playing time. And then you just, the way how you're going to want to save this rotation. So say you got your rotation set up. You got everything set how you want. Say like, okay, I want Julius Randle starting instead of Omeka Okafer. I can go ahead and put him there and have him starting there. And then say I want Meritage to get more playing time. Sort them like that and say I want to give Alfred Payton a little bit more playing time. Say I want to give Nikola Meritage a little bit less. Give Anthony Davis some more. And then say I want Okafer to have a few less minutes. Um, Drew Holiday to have one more, each one more to have a few more. Now, what you want to do, you do not want to hit square, or you don't want to hit triangle, or you don't want to hit Y. You do not want to hit yes. You don't want to hit yes on rebuilding rotation. Just don't even, don't hit triangle or don't hit Y. All you want to do is back out of it. Hit B or hit circle, and then if you go back to my minutes, everything will be set how you wanted to do it, how you left it. You don't have to hit, like, confirm. All you do is back out of it, and the rotations will be saved how you would like. And again, say you don't want the guys at your position having playing time. Take them out, whatever. And then you can just go ahead and throw them to everybody else. Throw minutes to everybody else. You make sure you are using all of the minutes that are available to you. I can't give you, like, a threshold again on how to get this. It just kind of comes up. You'll get the text from the assistant coach and then eventually be able to change the minutes. But anyways, guys, it's been King Clutch here. Hopefully this has helped you guys. Have a great rest of your day and peace out, guys. Thanks.